sponsored by DCP Player, a simple way to view a DCP on any Windows based PC. Hello Cine Tech Geeks, this is James Gardner here at CinemaCon 2011 and I'm here with, uh, what's your name sir? Ryan Severson. And Ryan is a screen uh, manufacturer as we can see here, there's different examples of perforated screens and it's become very apparent in uh, the day of digital that uh, the uh, dots on the screens combined with the, the, the pixels of the projector can make more A patterns on the screen if they match up exactly the wrong way. So I thought I'd talk to Ron here to see if what, what's been done about that and what his opinion is on that because well he makes screens. Ron? Well we've been making screens different types for 30 years but um, the micro perf now is becoming very popular with the high end and it's mainly for um, what they consider better definition, sharpness and uh, a brighter picture. Yeah, and the, and the brighter picture is basically because um, the bigger the holes, the more light bleeds through the screen. So the smaller the holes, there's less holes in the screen, so more light bounces back. But believe it or not, there's the same percentage of uh, space there. Is there is being lost. Yes. Okay. Cool. It's just that smaller uh, holes allow the pixelization to um, not be a problem, which it might be on a larger uh, perf screen. So this more a problem that's been occurring in, in some installations I've been. Um, uh, um, doing uh, is less likely to happen on a micro perf. Right, and um, we also make a weave that same thing. We have a little problem with the more, but as you get bigger and it matches up more, the more is a serious problem. So, so this is a very important issue because. Um, if you are going digital or 3D or, or anything like that, you are most likely going to be having to buy a new screen, right? So keep this in mind, eh? Absolutely, and um, especially in the home theater side, this is becoming really popular. Yes, yes. People Good. like it a lot better than, of course, the cinema because you have to be back so far. And so this is really, for our all intents and purposes, what we do, we offer this mainly for the home theater although there are a few large theaters that want to use it. It's just a lot more expensive because of the process that uh, goes through to manufacture it. Okay. Anyway, thank you, Ron. Uh, and you're from, again, what's your company? Arizona. We're Severson Corporation. Uh, been in the business since 1986. We're still going. Well, I appreciate your time to talk to me uh, at the show here. And uh, anyway, that's, that's it for now on screens from the Cinetech Geek. Bye for now.